It's a cool 22 degrees in here this morning. <clears throat> Got some heaters going. Bad out. Bad out. Talk to me. Anyway. Got the old new daily out here, a little Subaru 2.5 RSTI. It's got the sloppiest shifter I have ever felt. So months ago, I ordered a short shifter and like bushings and everything for it. I just put them all together in the one box so that it would be not lost in my shelf of 240 parts over there. Anyway, so now I put a short shifter, all the shifter bushings, and there's there's a lot involved in this it's not just like a normal shifter of a normal car of course i got these gloves on here can't get into that tape but we'll see what we got here that doesn't show you much <laughs> all right so let's start off we've got our shifter it's kind of cool looking it came with a little uh shifter boot bezel deal and of course pins they ride through here got new bushings these are profane uh you know nice urethane bushings um there's all the mounting hardware for it and it came with a nice little tube of white lithium grease uh and then i've got the shifter u-joint i know you're probably like what in the world but there's all sorts of linkages and all type of things on this uh application it's not just a shifter that pops down into the top of the transmission so I've got to go inside take some stuff apart I have to go up underneath take some other stuff apart and uh, you know put it back together and then be short shifting I guess right so <clears throat> I've just pulled this panel up and out the way then I've had to remove my shift knob and I were able to just sort of pop that up and sort of out of the way. Now we're down to the meaty bits. The shifter, look at how loose, look at the play, look at the state of it, man. That's in gear, there, third, right, neutral, wait, fourth, neutral, fourth, look at the play, mate. It's awful. It is absolutely horrendous. So, straight into it. We'll have to remove this bit, go underneath, remove a few bits. Uh, I'll have to probably remove this, give it a pop up, uh, pull some bits out, and then, you know, righty oh, back together with the new. Right oh, so update for you. Had to make a run to the tool store, needed a few punch drivers. Uh, Subaru's got a double roll pin in the shifter U-joint, mate. Never seen anything like it. And, yeah, on our return trip now. So, back to it, eh? Right, I uh, figured I'd give you guys a look what we're dealing with. That's it. The large one. I've already driven the small pin. And now, I've got to get that the rest of the way out. It's a booger, not much room to reach here or to really hold a punch. Yeah, it is me punch. You see, problems. Well, after much struggle, um, I've got it out and you can see, I don't, I don't see all, the, all the play here compared to this nice, incredibly tight new one, you know, with no play. Um, yeah. That was not a fun job, I'm not going to lie. Until you were sugar-coated at all, mate, that was terrible. The new unit's got these roller bearings, man. It's quite nice. Be shifting so short mistakes have been made this indeed is the short shifter that one wants for one of these cars so i'm going to put this back in with all new bushings this is the key to success and of course these profane bushings um however this is a 
this is this is what you want in these. So I'm gonna send this thing back to China. Keep all this. These were the guys. Oh, that goes. Well, that goes into there through the shaft on the transmission. And then the smaller one goes into that one. It's a double roll pin. My goodness. Okay, folks, this has been quite the project today. Um, but here is the final product. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. As you can see, we've got some seriously positive shift engagements there. Boom. That's how it should be. I've cleaned up this boot, repainted the bezel. Um, now I've got to actually put, where do I put the doggone thing at? I put the rest of the interior back together. Um, but that <clears throat> is a job well done. And I'm well happy that it is done. Let's just say that. And I'll bolt this all back together. Get everything popped in. Cool. A couple screws go there. Snap our switch down. Right, so we've got everything screwed down. Oh, let me close my door there. Cool. Now we're all done. Oh, that's so great. No slop. I mean, of course, like any car, uh, yeah, that's normal. But this is fantastic, man. I am super pleased with that. Excuse the uh, wild hat hair. You'll just have to live with it because that's what I'm doing.